peace, everybody. What's good? It's about Coach Malachi Williams, and you and I were two in the True Media Today USA Boxing. Let's go. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble. I'm about everybody check this out. I'm looking at a tweet from Richardson Hitchens, right? Richardson Hitchens is saying that um, Ryan Garcia, he's not an elite fighter. He's a talented fighter. He has speed, he has power, but that's about it. He's not elite at all. He does have a little talent. And he's saying that Tank Davis is gonna murder this guy, pretty much, he's gonna kill this guy. He said this guy's gonna get punished, or if not, knocked out. Now, I will say this. Everyone that I've spoken to, I just left San Antonio, I was at the Ryan Garcia, I was at the, uh, not Ryan Garcia, I was at the, um, uh, what's my main man there, uh, Robert Garcia. I was at the Robert Garcia, um, uh, training academy, boxing, b boxing academy, and everyone I spoke to inside of that gym, and everybody in there, everybody in there was uh, Chicanos. It was Chicanos. It was one guy from Argentina, and it was another guy. He was um, he was Mexicano, right? And a lot of the people that I spoke to in there, from the fighters to the trainers, all of them are saying the same thing. Ryan Garcia does, uh, doesn't stand a snowball chance in hell in beating Tank Davis. And the, and the question I ask myself is this. No, why no one is giving Ryan a shot against Tank Davis? Now, I will say this here. I'm picking Tank to beat him. I, I'm not giving him a shot my goddamn self. But, you know, because, you know, no one really looks at him as, as an elite fighter like that. In order to beat someone like a Tank Davis, even though Tank Davis hasn't fought anyone elite since he's been boxing, I think he's fought maybe one guy that's Jose Pedraza, you know what I mean, that, that was elite, uh, you know, that, that could be looked upon as that. But outside of that, no one else is, you know what I mean? Um, but everyone recognizes Tank Davis' skill set, and they feel that, hey, you know, Tank, and, Tank should be able to do this, A, B, C, and D, and yada, 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 yada. But no one is giving Ryan Garcia a chance at, at all. You know, they're looking at him as a TikToker and stuff like that. Now, this is the crazy part. This is the crazy part about Ryan Garcia. The crazy part about Ryan Garcia is this. He is the sole reason why um, that people people perceive him to be this TikToker because, you know, because, you know, he that people look at him as not taking the sport seriously. And he really doesn't take the sport seriously. You know, um, Canelo Alvarez and Edwin also let the cat out the bag on that and then just his antics. He's a 24-year-old kid, you know, um, he's a cute little kid. Ryan Garcia's a cute little kid, handsome little kid, you know what I mean? He got the tender and stuff like that. But do I look at him as a, as a fighter? Nah, nah, I don't look at him as that. Now, the crazy part about it is this. Ryan Garcia is a boxer. He, you know, he comes from boxing. He know what I mean? He got he made his bones from being a boxer. So, but people don't really look at him as a boxer. They look at him more in the in the Jake Paul realm. And it's crazy because Jake Paul is a YouTuber uh, that turned boxer. They look at Ryan Garcia as a boxer turned turn, uh, social media star. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this shit, <laughs> so this shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy. Like you know, this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy, fam. Like. For what I'm seeing, from what I'm seeing is this, guys. I'm sorry about that. I'm driving. So for what I'm seeing is this. No one is giving Ryan Garcia a shot in a snowball test in hell. And like, I'm talking about top trainers, you know, other fighters. They're like, man, you know, Ryan Garcia don't stand a chance. This is the biggest money grab. Like, Tate Davis, uh, Floyd Mayweather, the money team, they need to be arrested for robbery. This is a, this is a bank heist. Like, and the crazy part about it, Ryan Garcia begged for this ass whooping that he's going to get. He begged for this. All you Ryan Garcia fans, I'm just being honest with you guys, dog. Like, you guys know deep down in your heart, Ryan don't stand a goddamn chance. Y'all hoping, hoping and wishing on the goddamn star. Y'all hoping and wishing on the star. Y'all know that boy don't stand a goddamn chance. And then on top of that, to make sure, to make sure that Ryan Garcia doesn't win the fight, you know, the way they have it set up, they put the rehydration clause in there. Now, that's to make sure that, hey, Tank, we're going to make sure you win. You get what I'm saying? So, Ryan Garcia is going to have to overcome all of those other things on top of what, for, for what other people are saying. He don't stand a snowball chance in the hell and win it anyways. Because in order to beat a Tank Davis, you're going to have to, you're going to need an elite jab. You're going to need an elite jab. When I say an elite jab, I mean like a Shakur Stevenson or, or Devin Haney. Devin Haney has an elite jab as well. Um... You're gonna need an elite jab. That just that just to set everything up. You get what I'm saying? And then you're gonna have to have superior footwork. 
you're going to have to have superior footwork as well. If you don't have an elite jab or superior footwork, you forget. You can forget it. You don't stand a chance. And unfortunately for Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia doesn't have an elite jab nor superior footwork. He doesn't have any of those things. You get what I'm saying? You know, he has he has fast hands, check left hook. You know what I mean? He got a, a nice right cross, and that that's about it. That's about all he has, and that's it. His footwork is terrible. You know, he doesn't have the best footwork in the world. Um, he will be touching tank a little bit in the beginning. He will get figured out and broken down. Now, uh, to pivot a little bit as of late to Devin Haney, there's a lot of people who don't like Devin Haney. I don't know why, what it is. I think I do know why Bill Haney is, is one of the main reasons why people don't like his son. Bill Haney go around the Chitlin circuit talking a whole lot of shit, getting disrespected. People calling him Bill fuck niggas on panels and coming out the mouth and Bill like that shit. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. And then his affiliation with the LDBC. So I think that's a reason why a lot of people don't like Devin Haney because, you know, you know, because who they align themselves with. And that's fine. It is what it is. Um, but Tank and Devin are never fight each other. That fight had never happened because they're going to A-side Tank to death. Uh, you know, Tank Davis, and they're going to A-side Devin Haney to death. Devin Haney has all of the belts, but the era that we live in right now, you got old crested niggas like Bernard Hopkins, old crested niggas like, um, and I like B-Hop, but you got old, they, they, got, they, they got the old crested mentality now. Old crested niggas like Calvin Ford, they're saying that the belts don't matter, this and that, yada, 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 yada. They're going to tell Devin Haney, you don't bring nothing to the table. We don't care nothing about history and legacy. You know, we the A-side. We're selling out arenas by fighting pork chop sandwiches, whole head cheese sandwiches. We don't really need you, yada, yada. That's what that's going to be like. So this is going to be a lot of shit talking online and all that stuff there. Nothing is really going to materialize from that. Um, and I get it. I do get it. Devin Haney doesn't have the punching power. He does have a very boring style. That is facts. He does jab and grab. But he is an undisputed lightweight champion of the world. And that's nothing that no one is going to be able to say to take away from that. I think a lot of people are mad and upset that Devin Haney is an undisputed champion because they wanted their favorite fighter to, fighter to be that. And they're not that. Um, so it is what it is. I get it. You get what I'm saying? I'm not Team Devin Haney. I'm not on that nigga side. I'm not on that nigga Tate Davis side. I'm not on that nigga Ryan Garcia side. I really don't give a fuck about any too much too many of their fan bases because all the, all three of these niggas are delusional. I'm saying the fan bases are delusional. You get what I'm saying? But I do respect that Devin Haney's plight. I do feel that he does get unwanted hate, but it's because of his father. I don't think it has anything to do with Devin. I think it's because of his father. Um, but other than that, man, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. What do you guys think, man? Um, me personally, I think Shakur will clean uh, clean out clean out all of those guys. But we'll never see a Devin Haney and, and a Tank Davis and uh, Shakur Stevenson. That ain't going to fucking happen. Because I think I think with the Mayweather Protection Program and what the PBC is doing, they're not going to put Tank Davis in high-risk fights. They're going to put him in fights that they know he can win. And he doesn't. And if you're Tank Davis, you don't have to take a high-risk fight because your fan base is so goddamn slow and stupid. I mean, not, not the fan base. I'm saying you have a segment of his fan base. Tank Davis has two fan bases. He has a fan base that want to see him fight the top guys. I'm not talking about those guys. I'm talking about the 20 boppers, the 20 boppers, and then the, even the old crusty niggas like the Calvin Fords. They don't want to see him fighting the top guys. They're going to, you know, they want to see him fight, you know, the setup fights. You get what I'm saying? So that, that's, that's, that, that's that fan base right there. And Calvin Ford is the leader of that. Not dissing Calvin. I do get it. You know what I mean? You, you know, you came from nothing. I respect it. I do get it. You know what I mean? I get where you're coming from. But that's just a reality of the situation. And what I do like about Calvin Ford is they let you know what time it is. My nigga, we don't care nothing about that fighting legacy shit, fighting tough fights. My nigga, we going to fight whoever we want to fight because we got a fan base that's dumb enough that's going to buy anything we put out there anyways. And that's what Calvin is saying, and I do get it. And Tank got, does have a coat like following. So if you, you somebody like a Tank, why fight high-risk fights when you don't have to? You get what I'm saying? So I get it. Other than that, that's it. This is the Coach Malachi Williams signing out. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Ryan Garcia is being overlooked? Or do you think that, nah, Ryan, though, he going to get his ass put to sleep? This is some motherfucking money grab. They going to send his ass back to motherfucking TikTok land, back to, um, back to um, YouTube back to uh, uh, uh instagram where he belong you know back to you know back to being a uh, you know an instagram model stuff like that and another thing before i go a lot of you ryan garcia fans are upset that no one is looking taking him serious as a fighter he did that to himself 
I don't take Ryan Garcia serious as a fighter. The nigga's a TikToker. You know what I mean? He's a, he's an Instagram model. He is cute. He's a cute little boy. He's a cute little young man. And um, he's making a, he's making a lot of money. You know what I mean? And um, he has a future in modeling and stuff like that. You know, his guy line, a makeup line. And I'm not hating him, just being honest with you. That's everybody look at him that way. No one look at him as a fighter. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Other than that, that's it. It's about Coach Malachi. We're signing out. Two minutes today, USA Boxing. I give a fuck about these you fighters fan bases. I really don't give a damn. I see you guys today, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You know my motto. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Peace. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on.